You know, this morning I was talking to a buddy and we were, we were saying, you know, look, in light of everything that's going on in the world, why am I allowing this incident between Chris Rock and Will Smith to, to bother me as much, or at least as much as it did earlier? It still bothers me. Um, because as disturbing as, as the slap was, um, upsetting and, and, and really sickening as that was, um, it was what came afterwards that really twisted my stomach. Uh, and this is why I teach the villain's victor story. This is one of the fascinating elements and the disturbing elements of, of, of the villain's victor story. It's the moment when I saw Will Smith up there truly trying to give the Academy Award winning moment here tears running down his face and how he's talking about how he wants to be a vessel of love when he had three, four, I don't know how many commercial breaks to really think about what a loving response to be. But no damn apology it was some bullshit justification for how he wanted to be this vessel of love and truth and, and love makes you do crazy things, man. No, it don't, man. Love doesn't make you do crazy things. Anger makes you do crazy things. Rage makes you do crazy things. But letting go of my judgment, it was amazing to see how much he believed that he was right. <sighs> how much he believed that he was right. Free your judgment. Allow them to see how right they are. Allow them to tell the story of how they would want the world to see them, to judge them. Will Smith went for it. He tried to really, really play that victor role. And some people bought it. And a lot of other people didn't. Including me.